stay encouraged. Never stop living for God. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 28 verse 13. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. But whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Let's look at covereth. Okay. I believe cover is the root word. So let's look up the word cover. Okay. In this dictionary, one of the definitions are put something such as a cloth or lid on top of or in front of something in order to protect or conceal it. So I believe in the context of the scripture, I believe covereth means to hide or to conceal. Okay. Okay, some people may not know what the definition of sin. So let's look up the word sin. Okay, in this dictionary, one of the definitions are in an immoral act considered to be a transgression against divine law. So, to summarize that, something wrong in my own words. Okay, let's look up the word prosper. Okay. I like the definition down here in this dictionary. To cause to succeed or thrive. So, let's say succeed. Let's look up the word confesseth. And I believe the root word is confess. Okay. Let's go to this definition here. Admit or state that one has committed a crime or is at fault in some way. Okay, let's look up the word forsake. I believe in the scripture it is forsaketh, but I believe the root word of forsaketh is forsake. So let's look up the word forsake. Abandon, so in this definition, in this dictionary, Let's go to this definition here. Abandon someone or something. Okay. So let's look up the word mercy. Some people may not know what mercy mean. And where did I put it? Mm, here we are. Compassion or forgiveness shown toward someone, someone whom it is within one's power to punish or harm. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth 
and forsaketh them shall have mercy. What do you believe this scripture is saying? Let me summarize this in my own words. I believe this is saying, if a person continues to sin willfully, without trying to stop, and if that person doesn't confess their sins to God, I believe this is saying that person will not succeed. Okay. And I believe this is saying also, if a person confesses their sins to God and tries their best to stop sinning, I believe this is saying God will have mercy on that person. So what is the difference? I believe this scripture is talking about two types of people. I believe it is speaking about a person who is sinning but not trying to stop and a person who is sinning but is trying to stop. I believe in summary this scripture is saying that. Let me say this and I can be wrong about this. I believe God looks at the effort. I truly, truly, truly believe that. So if a person believes in God, but don't try to stop sinning, I believe that person is in trouble. If you sin, but you are trying to stop, yes, I believe you are going to reap what you sow, but I believe God will have some type of mercy on you. I truly believe that. So don't become discouraged. You may be messing up so much, but don't become discouraged. Continue trying to obey God as much as you can. Let me say this too. Maybe not. <laughs> Let me stop here. God bless you. Say some <laughs> kind words to others. God bless you.